live. All right, all right. Hold on. Gotta make sure um, it's up and running. Yeah. Okay, okay. Live. I'll share it to chat. All right. Hopefully y'all can see us. Y'all can hear us real good. Okay. Shalom, Wam, Shalom, Wam, Israel. Shalom. Wam. First and foremost, before we start this lesson, I'm gonna give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahusha Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. My name is Tazamak Amaf. Shaquat Rakak. And we come from the Camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I'm gonna give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us truth and well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect that is scattered abroad, that's serving the Lord in truth and in sincerity. Okay. And um, as of today, we want to go into this lesson um, of Yahweh Shai's word. Well, Yahweh Bashim Shai's word will be manifested upon earth. Okay. And um, as Elder Apostle Tahar had deemed this, deemed this year, um, the hopeful year that all the prophecies come to pass, man. Okay. And hey, man, that's, that's a great title, man, for this year, man, because we're very hopeful Though we in captivity under our oppressors, but we know that through the comfort of Yahweh Bashim Shai, Yahweh Shai will come back and destroy Esau and his system. Okay, so we just want to go into it because a lot of Jake and a lot of these people. Okay, if you don't know who Jake is, so-called um, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and you know they're very in a, uh, they're in a very complacent spirit complacent uh, mindset they don't think that you know the lord is going to come back they don't think that, you know they don't really believe the bible etc etc but them knowing that having that mindset they're going to be utterly destroyed so we're just going to go into it and lord will's lessons edifying and um let me start with this first scripture right here this is psalms 138 and 2 and it says i will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Okay. So let's read it again. It says, I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. So, hey, so these people that be like, oh, the Lord got multiple names. No, the Lord has one specific name. Okay. If your name was... If your name was Derek and I call you Timothy, you know, you know, hey, that's not your name. Okay. And but it says, and praise thy name, which is Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. And it says, for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. Right? And it says, For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. So, you know, the Lord, you know, he stands by his word. Okay, let's actually get this. Um, I want to grab this scripture real quick. Um, bear with me real quick. Roughly paraphrasing, the Lord said he's a man that he should not lie. Um, let me just grab it for edification. I don't know why it's not popping up, man. It's Satan. this one right here 
MERS 23. Yeah. So this is Numbers 23 and 19. It says, The Most High is not a man that he should lie, neither the Son of Man that he should repent, hath he, hath he said, and shall he not do it? Right? Hey, look. We just read in Psalms how you know he put the he put his word over his name okay because hey lord hey you're gonna feel the lord man a lot of gonna feel the lord man and it says have he said it, and shall he not do it or have he spoken and shall not make it good okay so let's go back psalms 138 2 i will worship thy so like it, i will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy love and kindness and for thy truth for thou has magnified thy word above all thy name. And, you know, the Lord comes in the volume of the book. And everything the Lord said, you know, is going to come to pass. Brother, you think you could read this for me? That's it. Yeah. <clears throat> it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 55 and verse 11. And it says, so shall, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Mm-hmm. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Right. So the Lord's word is not gonna come back unto him void. Okay. Everything the Lord said in this book is going to come to pass, which comes with the nuclear missiles, World War Three. Um, you know, the MOTB, the Lord, the Lord returning, his his son returning. To deliver the elect famine famine of the word um you know jacob's trouble you know etc etc all of these things are going to come to pass man the lord's word is not going to come to him void okay it's not going to be meaningless no everything the lord says out his mouth is going to come it's going to happen okay can you read that again it's the book of isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11 and it says Mm -hmm. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Right. It shall not return unto me void. Right. But it shall accomplish that which I please and right. it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Mm. Whereto I sent it. It's going to accomplish what he, everything he pleased. See, this program and this movie that we in, you know, hey, the Lord see that pleasing to him. Okay. Because everything is fitting his will. Everything is gonna fit his will, man. Um can you read uh let's read Habakkuk. It's the book of Habakkuk, chapter two and verse three, and it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Right. The vision is yet for an appointed time. This these prophecies are yet for an appointed time, man. And Lord willing this be this year. For that appointed time that these prophet all the prophecies come to pass, man. Second Ezra 15, Second Ezra 16. Um, you know, all man, all these prophecies, man. There's, there's plenty of prophecies. Okay. Go ahead, read that from the top. It's the book of Habakkuk, chapter two and verse three, and it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Right, the vision is yet for an appointed time. Okay, so this is a set date that all these prophecies are gonna come to pass one by one. All right, go ahead. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Right. At the end, it shall speak and not lie. Now, you see that we brought out about three or four scriptures that reiterates that the Lord is not going to lie. The Lord is not lying. The Lord, Everything the Lord is saying in this book is true and will come to pass, man. The Lord put the word over his name. Hey, you know, because, hey, if the Lord would, you know, you know how Jake be, man. They'd be like, man, you got to stand on what you're saying, man. You know, hey, the Lord is going to stand by what he say. This is the father, right? The Everything the Lord has said in this book and, you know, even in the spirit world, okay? Everything he said in the spirit come manifest on earth, okay? So everything he has said in this, in this book, this holy scriptures is going to come to pass. It's not going to lie. Okay, if there's going to be death and, and destruction, it's going to be death and destruction. If there's going to be, if the Lord says it's going to be famine, it's going to be famine. 
if, if, if the Lord said it's better to die by the sword than to die by hunger, best believe you're going to see people dying from famine, skin and bones. You're going to see people, die, you know, trying to uh, commit suicide. Man, you're going to see a lot of stuff, all right? Go ahead. It's a lot, of kid. You can read from the top again. It's the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 3, and it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, right. but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Mm -hmm. Though it tarry, wait for it. Though it tarry, wait for it, okay? Though it feel like a long time. You know, hey, while, hey, while we're in this captivity, yes, it does feel like a long time. Yes, it, it is very vexing being here. I'm being real. It is very vexing being here, you know, and we, every day we wake up, the Lord blesses us, you know, with the eyesight to wake up and see another day. We are very hopeful that something happens. Very hopeful that, hey, another prophecy comes comes to pass, man. Okay? But though it tarry, wait for it. Hey, the Lord put us in a situation to suffer, when you go into that word patience, it goes into suffering. You got to be able to suffer, you know. And um, as we're being made the image of, of the Lord, we got to bear that cross. We got to suffer. We got to we got to walk his footsteps. We got to, you know, we're not going to be greater than the Lord. But we all ultimately we got to wait. We got to be patient because hey, the Lord say he's going to come back and deliver his elect, you know, and he's going to protect his servants. He's going to protect his prophets. Okay, yeah, we, we believe in that, man. Though it tarry, wait for it. Go ahead. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Yep, it will surely come, it will not tarry. Okay? A lot of these people, you know, hey, they're going to give up because they feel like a long time. But guess what, man? Hey, let's just say you give up, man. Hey, all the prophets start hitting. Where you at? It's, it's too late. It's too late. You gave up, right? You gave up. You can't give up on this truth. You can't give up on the Lord because the Lord didn't give up on you. And I can add on. Scripture also says the same, the same that endures until we say. Say it again. The um the same that endures to the end, the same shall be. Oh saved. yeah. Uh the yep yep. You can grab that Matthew twenty four. Let me see. I got it. I'll give it to you. Matthew twenty four. Yep. You go ahead and read it too. Mm -hmm. You want me to just, right. 13? Yep. Right, it's the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 13. And it says, But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Okay, go ahead. Right, the same shall be saved. So like the brother said, we got to endure through this thing, you know, throughout the prophecies. We got to go through all these things. We got to endure. And, like, you know, for, for his brothers and his truth, so our mindset should be as enduring so you be safe. Right. That's that's um that's a good point. And you know, and um us enduring, you know, we're holding on to this truth, this knowledge and wisdom that the Lord had blessed us with to endure. Okay. God. And these prophecies that are coming to pass, you know, they're not a lot of these prophecies are not pretty, <laughs> okay? They they're they're very terrifying. And you know, we gotta endure through that. We gotta endure through that storm. Okay. Yeah, you gotta you gotta endure through seeing dead bodies all over the pavements, through the M the um M O T B, etc. Man. Right. So let's go back. Read that. It's the book of Psalms, chapter thirty three and verse four, and it says, "For the word of the Lord Yahweh is right." Right. For the Lord, of, hey, for the word of Yahweh is right. Go ahead. And all his works are done in truth. All his works are done in truth. Hey, the Lord does everything perfect. God. Everything perfect. You know, even before, you know, this earth was even created, the Lord was perfect. The Lord said, all right, I already know what I'm going to do with a blueprint. Da, 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 da. I'm going to have, I'm going to make my son. He's going to make the elect. He going to, you know, all these things, man. Everything is done in truth and perfect in the, in the eyes and hands of the Lord, man. All right, the word of Yahweh is right. All right, Every, he's perfect. Okay, go ahead. Well, you can read the next scripture. It's the book of Psalms, chapter one nineteen and verse one sixty, and it says, "Thy word is true; 
from the beginning. Thy word is true from the beginning. The beginning of time. Before he was even born. We were just spirits. A predestination. Right. The, thy word is true from the beginning. Look, man, that's a heavy ass scripture, man. Read that again. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 160. And it says, thy word is true from the beginning. Thy word is true from the beginning. Man, meditate on that, bro. Thy word is true from the beginning. Hey, it's, um, let me grab this real quick. That's to magnify that. Grab this scripture real quick. Um, bear with me real quick. All right, this is Isaiah 46 and 10. And it says, declaring the end from the beginning. So even in the beginning of time, the Lord said, you know, hey, I'm going to destroy Edomites. You know, I'm going to save my elect, you know. And it says, and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Okay. So when you read back in the scripture that the brother was reading um, right here. Psalms 119 and 160 says that word is true from the beginning. Okay. So everything the Lord said is true from the beginning. You go ahead and you can finish it. Continuing on. And every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Right. That word is just, it's true from the beginning, man. All, um, all the Lord's, you know, judgments. It's going to come to pass, man. Um, go to the next scripture. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 46, and verse 10. And it says, declaring the end from the beginning. Hey, it's, that's the spirit, bro. We just brought that out, bro. That's the spirit, bro. Oh, my goodness. Declaring the end from the beginning, man. So, hey, the Lord's word is going to be manifested upon this earth. And, you know, and he said it from the beginning. You know, that all these things are going to come to pass. And and how he uses his word to come to pass, man. You know, yet first, yeah, it's written in the scriptures. But secondly, he has his prophets, you know, speaking it. I, I, I grab Luke chapter one and um, Luke one and seven. the book of luke chapter 1 and verse 70 and it says as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets mm -hmm. which have been since the world begun right since the world begun he speak through the mouth of his holy prophets all right for these words to come to pass to be magnified upon the earth you know hey this is the lord's words that we're speaking man and we're uh, and we're uttering we're uttering it you know throughout these streets the uh Place of concourse, right? Um, let's grab this scripture. This is when we grab this last scripture. Um, this is Proverbs 18 and 21. It says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof, man. Hey, so you know, hey, we we speak in the words of Yahweh Shimel Shai. And, you know, hey, sometimes, it's, you know, it's it comes off as, you know, fearful. All right. Hey, hey fear persuade men. OK, the fear of the Lord persuade men. And sometimes, you know, when we speak, it's life, you know, because when we put that fear in you, it persuades you like, wow, like I need to get back right. What you how about Shimon Shai? And, you know, and the Lord is life. He is light, you know. 
But soon to come, people are going to see that everything we're saying is coming to pass through the through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, man. It's going to be manifesting upon the earth. So don't wait too late when the, all these prophecies come. All right. You want to add? You got? You want something? You want to add before we end it? All right. Come. Uh, you could um. It's rock five and seven. Go ahead. It's the book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 5 and verse 7. And it says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, mm. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and put not all from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Come, man. It says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. So don't be waiting all day to turn to the Lord. When, you know, the word, the word of the Lord is being manifested upon your very eyes, man. Okay. And it says, putting that off from day to day. So don't wait until tomorrow. Don't wait, you know, with all hell breaking loose. Because that's what Jake like to do. Oh, I'm going to do it later. I'm going to do it later. And what if the Lord come, came back tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, what if all hell break loose yeah. tomorrow? What if the internet shut down tonight? What you going to do now? You know, you can't make no damn excuses, man. All right, go ahead. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Right. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth because hey, the Lord, um, he mentioned that he's coming in as, as a thief. Thief in the night. Thief, right? A thief in the night. So a thief is not going to tell you when he's going to come. He's just going to come, right? And it's going to be when you least expect it. When you least expect it. And guess who's going to be... The ones that least expected, the people that are sleeping and slumbering, that didn't take the Lord serious, that didn't want to get right with the Lord, you know, when we were uh, telling him about this, when we we're telling them about this truth. All right, go ahead. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. When you're all comfortable, you know, sitting back, you know, living day to day, hey, you're gonna get destroyed, bro. Because what what wisdom and knowledge you got that's gonna keep you stable, man? Knowing that all these prophecies come to pass. Go ahead. And perish in the day of vengeance. Right. You want to perish in the day of the Lord coming back, man. Because you ain't take him serious. That's why when his word be manifested, it's going to be all hell breaking loose. All right. Now it's time to get right. This is a new, you know, quote unquote, new year, according to Esau. But, you know. We're um, hopefully waiting for the Lord to come back, man. And his prophecies, hey, man, his prophecies are going to come. And it's going to get ugly out here in America, man. Okay? So, uh, is that it on that? That was it. All right. Lord Will's lesson been edifying. I want to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahshai by Shem Lord Will's lesson been edifying. Next time we say Shalom. Shalom.